Hello everyone, I'm just going to be making a guide on how to use pumpkin tools in, in the smallest amount of time. So, go to tools, pumpkin, avatar tools once you have uh, imported it from the github or the discord server. And another thing that the pumpkin tool does, it checks the avatar's armature structure and scale and even the material. So what you want to do is make sure the scale of uh, the avatar you're trying to copy components from are similar uh, units. So right now it says 1 meter to 1 meter. I made this way out of proportion but it's 1 centimeter to 0 0.01 in unity. And as you can see it's absolutely gigantic. And on the current avatar I have some you know I have some context going on some fizz bones going on and again if your armature structure goes hips to left leg but on the avatar you're trying to copy components is hips to you know lower left leg for example it might not copy uh, correctly and I know for a fact on this one my root bone for the coat is here in my hips so I'm gonna for demonstration purposes just gonna put in my spine for now so to start you know copy your avatars drag in the avatar you want to copy you know to have the commands pasted to in the top layer and then you want to scroll down so if you scroll all the way up, scroll all the way down to copy components, uh, drag in, not that one, uh, this one, copy the stuff you want to do, and if you're not sure what your avatar has, you can just, you know, press show all and just, just go ahead and click all of these if you're unsure. So and this one thing I will say is uh, under skin mesh renders I think by default like materials and bounds are not checked uh, make sure these are checked and the same thing with um, mesh you know copy some settings over uh, the reason being is you know you obviously want to you know save time not dragging your materials or doing the bounding boxes over and over again so I'll show you the bounding box right now is like that and now if you were to uh, copy you'll see my bounding box got larger and all my materials are in place and again I want to make sure you guys make sure your material order is like pants arms jacket or whatever it, for my case obviously but uh you know, make sure they're in order. If not, your your pants might end up your face or something random like that. If they're not, you know, in the correct order. Um, as you can see, it on the left side, it created a new game object called root code. Even though I put a root code right here, and it has copied over my dynamic bone jacket. And if I were to create a, can I, uh, click on the root transform, and it goes to here, which is not true. So again, uh, you want to make sure your you know bone structure is very similar, otherwise it will start creating game objects that doesn't exist. So, but yeah, you know that's an easy fix right there. But uh, it can get really, really, you know, brain racking and messy if you're dealing with, uh, you know, hairs with like a million strands. And uh, again, uh, I'm going to use the scale in case you accidentally um, did it. That's not one of uh, avatar tools. Put in scale. So it copied, you know, my eye materials pretty well. 
and I even copy my uh, avatar descriptor but it's completely out of scale and even though the root bone is correct my uh, the radius and collision detection for my uh, drink code is out of whack and um, another and it could make your avatar like anorexic looking or weird looking as well um, just like other bugs with it when you have different scaled avatars so again make sure you have avatar with similar armatures and scale and uh, that is all you would need to know on how to use the pumpkin tools.